guys saying in the second half when you, know, you guys know that you have a backup quarterback in, you guys only allowed a three points in the second half. It's like a big turnaround from the first. I mean, we didn't really lose a beat. Everybody on this team trusts Ken, uh, sorry, Patty the same way that they do with Slovis. So nobody really, really said anything. The defense just stepped up as we should have in the first half. Were there any major adjustments at halftime, or was it more just kind of doubling down and executing better on what you originally intended to do? It was better execution. Like, coming in into this game, we played them last year. We knew what they were doing. Of course, tempo is one of the strengths. And uh, we just kept executing the plan to the best of our abilities. What was it like chasing Booker out there? I, he's a fast guy. He's definitely a double threat. Uh, he's a great player, but we're great players too, you know? How, about, how did that you know, playing against that tempo live up to what you expected of, of, of the game? Uh, this is my fourth year playing against a tempo team, so I wouldn't say I'm used to it, but like we prepare all throughout the summer. Uh, through all the conditioning phase. So we were ready today. Like, if you saw us, we didn't skip a beat. We were just toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Why do you think you had more success in the second half? Well, that's a great question. You know, tempo is a, how you say, a double-edged sword. We get tired, but they get tired too, especially being SEC alignment, big, uh, physical. And we were ready. We were conditioned. Uh, we just tuned in to find little details and just execute it better than the first half. How frustrating can it be when you know, you're forcing turnovers, when special teams makes big plays, and it doesn't result in points, and it's just kind of deadlocked for a little bit? What, what are you guys saying on the sidelines there? What's the message to the team there when you really can't get points off of those opportunities? We don't really focus on that. Uh, we got turnovers. We give it to the offense. The rest is up to them. Uh, we do our job. Since we did it once, we try to do it again. You know, We got one turnover. Let's go out again and get it again. Um, what the offense does is about the offense. What the defense does is about us. So we control what we can control. Tennessee was five for nine on third downs in the first half, but one for seven in the second half. What changed for, for you guys to be able to get off the field more in the second half? As I said, we just executed better. Uh, we knew what they were going to do. Uh, the D-line stepped up. We played really up to our standard, which I feel like we didn't really do in the first half, and we just executed do you feel like this loss really impacts your long-term goals for this season? Not at all. Um, the The main goals are still the main goals. Nothing is uh, swept away for us. Uh, we're going to come back tomorrow and just get back on track. A couple of injuries in your unit throughout the game. What's that say about the depth and those guys stepping up in that second half? Uh, that's what it was said at the beginning of the season. We are such a great D-line because we have a lot of depth. Um, and this will show in the future games. How can you guys take this this chance tonight, the game tonight, and really use it to grow uh, throughout the rest of the season? Uh, as everybody says, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Today was a day where we had to learn. Uh, we're going to watch the film tomorrow. We're going to come back, see what we did wrong, and fix it for next week. How did you feel day on perform, you know, coming in and, fill, and filling in more in, the, in this game? You like had a pressure that did force a couple of incomplete passes. He, he's, a, he's a great player. and. He played up to the D-line room standard. He re did really good, just as six did, 95, 92, 2, 8. Um, all great players, man. So they really played it hard off. And I thanked them before, and I could never thank them enough for that. Anything final? Safe to say you guys have a lot of motivation coming into next week now after them you know, beating you last week or last <coughs> year and then with this loss tonight. Are you guys extra hungry now for Western Michigan? For sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, Last year was last year, and this year they're going to feel us. Probably, what did you make of Nick? It seemed like he was really struggling to, to you know, that, that ankle that he hurt. And all. What, what did it say about him, the fact that he stayed out there and played? Yeah, you know, again, I was with the defense, so I don't really know what happened to him. Um, but he, he, he stepped in, led the offense, and kept it going. Kept it going. So I'm really happy about what he did. Pablo, thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.